All right, so I'm Dr. Roxanne Everett, and I'm a professor in the newly renamed College of Information and Cyberspace. Prior to coming to um, the National Defense University as a professor, I was a government contractor. I worked for a, um, several government um, contracting firms, the last one being LMI, um, which is shorthand for Logistics Management Institute. I was a uh, senior information assurance research fellow there in their um, information assurance and then cybersecurity department. Um, prior to joining LMI, I, when I was there for about eight years, prior to that I was at um, SAIC, Science Applications International Corporation, um, and I was there for almost 10 years. Um, had a great time, lots of fun stuff, and I've enjoyed all my government contracting positions. Um, we met a gentleman at LMI um, during one of our research exercises who was an enterprise architect at the FAA, and his name was Con Kenny. And one day he disappeared from FAA, and it turns out that he had come here, and he was an instructor up until about two years ago here in the Enterprise Architecture Department, working with um, Stan and um, Professor Newman um, with our Enterprise Architecture Program. But he kept in touch with us because he was very interested in our project, uh, which was integrating information assurance and enterprise architecture in government um, applications. And um, one day I got an email from, from Khan. It said they're looking to hire some cybersecurity professors. You know anybody who's interested? And I read the description. And I said, gee, I'd, I'd really be interested in this, but I don't have the qualifications. <laughs> I'd never published anything. Um, and he wrote back and said, oh, just shut up, Roxanne, and apply. <laughs> and, and so I submitted my, my application and... Apparently, I fooled them, and they hired me, and I've been here ever since. Well, I'm the course manager currently for two courses, um, Information Security and Enterprise Risk Management, and I'm also the course manager for our Critical Infrastructure Protection class. Our students are in a trans, we are all in a transitional period. And sometimes the students think we're still at the beginning of the transition when, quite, quite frankly, I think we're at the end. We're, we're coming out of the dark tunnel into a, in a whole new paradigm. And getting them to wrap their brains around that is a big challenge. Um, the other thing is, is getting them to understand that there are no answers. When a student comes to take any of our classes, from my perspective, we don't have answers for them. We just have more questions for them, and it's their job to take those questions and go out and conquer them. And they get very frustrated because they came in here thinking we'd have all the answers, and all we have is more questions for them. Um, but that's the nature of cyberspace and what we're doing because there there are no rules it's being written as we speak and that's a lot of fluid motion going on there well we are trying to raise the visibility both here at NDU and the outside world of this the the thought leadership and the scholarship of our faculty here. Um, we keep them so busy teaching, sometimes we forget to let them loose to go join in the conversation and, and um, roam around in the community. So we put together a task force to um, set up processes and procedures to get professors uh, to conferences more often. Um, help them get papers published, provide um, basically uh, administrative support in some regards as far as helping them manage their time to, to you know, okay, yes, you're teaching these seven courses this week, but next week all you're going to do is write a wonderful paper um, and get them uh, aware of conferences that they can submit requests to. 
either to attend for professional development or to participate as a speaker. Um, we're also looking at um, publishing more as a college within the National Defense University. Um, we are working with our friends over at PRISM to, within the next nine months, release a, um, a journal from PRISM that is exclusively cybersecurity oriented. We're working with our friends at NDU Press to get more cybersecurity articles written by faculty in the CIC on cybersecurity published in Joint Forces Quarterly. We're looking at other outside publications that we could submit articles to. Um, we're exploring the possibility of books published by our, our faculty. And then last but not least, we're looking to do things like this recording to get faculty to use additional media to reach out and interact with their students. I'd, I'd like to go back and see the, the, um, the last clash of the, of the War of the Roses uh, on the fields of Flanders. Um, I, I, there are so many things I'd like to go see and witness Gettysburg. Um, and as, but tempered with that is I'd like to go forward and see what I'm going into. So I'd like to go around a lot. I'd be, I'd be traveling a lot. <laughs> I have, a, I have a terrible reputation in the college and the university of assigning a lot of reading. Um, guess what? You really need to do it. Um, I know you won't, but you really need to. Um, but more importantly, just because you are taking a distance learning class does not mean that you can't reach out through all the different communications channels available to you and touch base with us. Telephone, emails, blogs. We're working on blogs. Um, there are all kinds of conduits for you to reach out to the professors who are teaching you, um, and in ESS it's almost a different professor every week, um, to, to ask questions and to be interactive and to, to be given the opportunity to explore the topic that's available to you. And you should use them. <laughs>